É o cover. É o cover. já foi. É o cover. Tem que confiar no parceiro. Artzinho, punil. Vai na busca. Finaliza! Vem, Artzinho. Um disparo direto enviado ao crânio dele nosso. Massino, como a massa são as três bajas. Smick standing here with Coach Itobaka after we see Leviathan whip on map number one. I know you earlier you mentioned that the team is going through a sweet honeymoon phase, but the beginning of this map was definitely looking good for MABR for a couple of rounds. We saw you call the timeout when the score was one to five in their favor. What did you guys talk about to pull back and even out that half score at six to six? Um, I just had to remind them our fundamentals because obviously we started we started bad and that kind of put us in a position where we felt the pressure and we just felt scared to play our game. So I just had to calm down the boys a little bit, remind them that uh, this is an attacking composition that they had. It's it's a weird composition, something that we haven't seen before. And after that, they just kind of got into the got into the flow and it was pretty simple after that. Well, it was great to see the team come back. Congratulations and best of luck on map number two. Leviathan pick up the win in game one, Ascent. Now, the thing is, MIBR, they made that one a little scary for a point in time there for Leviathan. But ultimately, Leviathan, through those fundamentals that we were hearing Coach Itapata talk about, Mel, they were able to pull through with that win. Yeah, we were thinking about what his impact was going to look like. And I mean, you can't deny that right when the coach takes attack, <laughs> they bring back four or five rounds and bring back like a one to five defense half. You can't argue with his impact. So the big time out there, like you said, I think it was really interesting because from Lev's POV, it's got to be so tilting loading into the server. Seeing ISO Yor, which is definitely a comp they've never like, practiced against at all. It Seeing that, it, yeah. being down one to five, like it takes mental resilience and composure to like recognize your win conditions and the, what's going to make the other team lose. Yeah. This comp, so. and, I, and I think they recognize that. I mean, he said there, like, this is a weird comp, but also attacking side, right? Like, you're, especially with the way that they've just been put together, this yeah. team, it's going to be attacking side. And so just recognizing that everything is fine, and as this game continues, um, we'll, we'll be able to take advantage. I, I think that's exactly what we saw. Just for my own brain, I just love the fact that our MVPs are Mazine and Mazino. <laughs> just want to point that out. <laughs> First time it's happened, and I'm 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 enthused. Okay. Uh, but yeah, that being said, though, uh, you you can see that uh, from what Itopato was saying, uh, Wyatt, about that composition. You were really starting sure. to see those gaps be present, and and that is some certainly something that they'll have to revisit. If it's they funny as well it. that the timeout, that's one of those moments where the coach calls a timeout and then he tells Tex to get three headshots with a sheriff. <laughs> yep. like, oh, oh, that's, that's what we got. And then they go back <laughs> in the game and they win the round because of that. <laughs> Perfect. Oh, yeah, of course. Perfect well, coaching. <laughs> let's go ahead, though, and jump over to uh, Coach Fraud to hear what he has to say going into map two. Smick standing here with Coach Fraud after the loss on map number one. Uh, Fraud, earlier when I spoke to you, you said that the team only really had three to four days to prepare for the match today. What was the strategy as it pertains to communication, especially when comms can get so important heading into those rounds? Yeah, I mean, we're trying to do everything on English, even though we have more Brazilians. We want to make sure that uh, we're trying to do our best to communicate in English so we're all on the same page. Uh, I think that was a little bit more of, you know, if we had a little bit more time just to really communicate, I think that we had a good feel for how they play and what to do. Uh, but obviously, they're a very good team and, you know, our limited practice makes things tough. But I think that overall, we, we showed a little bit about how good we can be and we're going to do our best to bring this back for the rest of the BO3. Sounds great. Best of luck on Icebox. And I think that certainly was what we got there. We saw an MIBR, Wyatt, that looked rejuvenated, that looked that, that felt like they had some fire in their belly. And, and, it, and it played out really well. Granted, they weren't able to pick up the win, but you could chalk that up to a variety of other reasons, not them just beefing it, you know, like it has been in the past. Yeah, definitely. It looked like, I mean, you said fire in the belly, like Shazam seemed to be the spark for that because oh, yeah. this team is in the dumps. They have not won a map yet. And you need someone injecting to bring back this guy who Shaz was talking about, he wants to play, he wants to compete in tier one. And you could tell when, it, when the cam was on him, he had that authentic passion every time. He was getting hyped in a real way. It wasn't make-believe. Like He is there to play and do his yeah. best and try to win. And that is rubbing off on the rest of the team, it feels like. Yeah, well, now we're going over to Icebox here. And, I mean, opportunities for shenanigans? Potentially, I maybe. mean, there 
is. I, I feel like there is a lot of comp diversity on Icebox. Some teams you see running Omen, you see Gekka, you see Ko, you see Soba. Like there is opportunity here for some some goofballery. I mean, maybe a deadlock. <laughs> We've seen deadlock on Icebox baller. before. Yeah. And I think it's funny too that I feel like Shaz is going to keep uh, that energy going because if there's one thing that's universal that transcends language, it's being a vibe merchant. Just go nice and like being any hype. language in the world, no matter what team is getting hyped. Yeah, it's definitely, uh, I completely forgot too. It's like, yeah, they got a common English and, and this was a similar situation that Leviathan uh, were struggling with at the beginning of the year. So it's kind of a, a unique position that MIBR doesn't have to be in for the whole time because they are going to have you know, their players coming in eventually here, Wyatt. But what, what are you seeing? You look very intense. I, I couldn't tell if Ospos was on Reyna, but listen, I did see that Art Zinn, I thought was maybe on it. No, he wasn't. I'm hoping to see Arena here. It's something that Ospos, it's an agent that Ospos played at the beginning of stage one pre this buff. I think the new dismiss is insane. The ability to reposition off of it now with the so fast. to get that extra distance is really solid. And I'd like to see him experiment with that. It's not going to be the case Doesn't here. Happen. You're wrong. All reliable jet. <laughs> it would have been cool to see. It would have been actually really cool because, yeah, I mean, that, that speed off of the Reina is out of this world. But that being said, though, as we look at the lineup and as we stand right now, I mean, Leviathan, you got to be feeling a little bit more confident for Lev. They picked up that first map win. This could very well be a 2-0 here if it keeps going like this. Yeah, this is pretty stock standard as well. Like, the comps are pretty normal. Like, Gecko isn't really out of the ordinary. And Lev's been running this comp for a while now. It should be a done deal. And, I mean, it is an Ospos jet map. Well, we got some good old-fashioned value. Valorant. Let's go ahead and send it over to your casters for map two. You got Vansillian Riv, of course, on the call. Definitely an interesting second map here on Icebox where you don't really have anything out of the ordinary coming this time around for my BR. But this is a big test here for Paint. Once again, first time on the stage and has to go head to head against Ospos on a Jet V Jet where yeah. potentially now the ops will come out. So I'm looking forward to see if this is going to happen and if Paint could actually hold his weight. And it's cool to see that Paint gets that role, right? He gets into the Jet. This is where he is on fire. It's, yeah. it's like Jet, Rays, Neon, and then Yoru, and then it kind of keeps trickling down a little bit. But yeah, these are his plays that he's seen in, in tier two professional play from where he is right now. And we'll see if it can be enough against Ospos. We know what Ospos has done to other teams. You remember the Cloud9 match that he had <laughs> against them? Holy moly. Ospos can put people to bed on Icebox. Let's see if they do it here. MIBR needs this map to keep in the series. Ooh. Trying to go semi quick. You saw the snake bite being thrown very early by King just to prevent any pushes coming out from A main and shot guards also coming across, but no kills, nothing yet. And MIBR is just going to slow the tempo. And as they do this here towards the A side, they don't have too much coverage up middle. This gives an advantage now for Leviathan to start walking down. Nice coverage. Insert text. Somebody who's felt very comfortable already in these tight situations and can give very good audio calls on what's happening. Knowledge of Ospos looking down B. You can see the movement already from Lev. The macro is correct here. Just sit, sit on A. Look at that. Just cycling the toxic screen to the high tide. Just slowing it down for Leviathan. And it's going to be slow for the players walking across. First blood for Tom, but Artazine is there to avenge paint. Even things up with a 4v4. The beauty of the gecko allowing him to plant to let the rest of them fight. I should say somehow picks up the ghost and still lands the headshot onto Mazzino. Oh. RNG not in favor here of that harbor. And now Aspas and Tex. First one on the flank. There's that first dink through the wall, unfortunately, though. So Liazzi stays healthy. Yes. Shazam swings back out for that second kill. And this is not uncharted territory for Shazam on a map like Icebox. And Aspas is now down to a one versus four. Nice first little second one as well. Activates a dash to jump across. Oh and you're playing the time now for MIBR. Shazam and Liazzi both low. One this shot from the sheriff, but it's nothing. a ghost picked up instead. Reconner now pings him out, and that's going to be too yeah. late. No time to come in for the defuse, wow. and MIBR will One still be right. able to get the best around, but Osmos is not going down without a fight. <laughs> it's Altorb after Altorb. This man just grabbing as he tries to deny his own. Very nicely done. We're going to get a blade storm real quick there, and we'll see if it can be contested on the side of pain. But great first round by MIBR pushing forward. You can see they were all locked in on one thing moving forward. Flank was controlled, and nobody was scattered thinking something was uncovered. Double checking. That was just really solid there. And there's Shazam. There's that smile. Team is pumped. They are hyped, and they'll get back in this second round feeling good here to start off Icebox. So full explosion on the spike.
keeping Lev out on that first round. Let's see if they can get the second one here as they make their way towards B, but they're going to leave Liazzi on the lurk this time. And they're just trying to do a contact snake bite and hoping that their classics are going to do enough damage here to get some kills. Oh. Zest gets instantly shot here. Now the Dizzy spotting two. There's that snake fight, and Pate doesn't want any of that smoke behind yellow. But Mazino still opens it up here towards that front of that B site, and that's a weapon down and upgraded on the sign of Leviathan. Two Guardians now in their arsenal around three classics yep. as the pivot is back for MRBR towards A. Really nice read by Lev. Just the simple BA second round is going to be at the other site. They have a good kill, possibly a weapon to pick up here if they figure it's not too controlled. And now they'll go towards A. And why not here? Leave Aspas alone. He's been warmed up since the first map. You just saw what he did on the pistol round. So they give him a lot of trust to anchor the A side alone. There's that ADS, but unfortunately no shots connecting. It does get a body shot there onto Shazam. But then they might be realizing here that it's Aspas towards <laughs> yeah, the A side. It's like, okay, exactly let's go back it. towards B. <laughs> This insert of Mazi makes it a little bit easier to know the run across is safe. And they've done a nice job at, at calling that run away from the Guardian. Nobody else is going to have something like it except for Harbor. That's already been picked up and ran off the site. So Plant comes in. Do they flip? Do they stay? They'll stay for now. Wall is still up here yeah. on the attack side. Wingman is back, gents and ladies and friends. And they'll get the plan down now for MIBR. And it's a five player retake for Leviathan all the way back towards the spawn. Slowly re-clearing back. Not really any type of util to delay here or deny the tap on the spike on the attack side of MIBR. So we'll have to come down to this gunshot as soon as the walls come down. There's Liazi with the first one. Aspas answering back with the Guardian. Finally, shots are going back and forth. Like a Christmas tree comes at through the kill feed, leaving Mazin alone. Mazin again cannot get the opportunity to Beautiful. clutch in his three versus one. Leviathan able to score back thrifty. with their thrifty. This is why you see Leviathan taking the harbor. The way to cascade forward, create your own options, create your own walls, and have an option to get back in the site. It really made it easier for them to step forward in these positions. Beautiful dart there to reveal the rest of the members and how they could start to pressure onto yellow. What a lower buy retake from Lev there. Holy moly, MIBR losing a round they should not have lost. Let's get back into that. That thrifty is going to sting for MIBR. And Leviathan bring that ascent momentum right into Icebox. Push up already, Calm trying to get on the ultimate. Flashbacks of him getting a triple from just outside the screens here again. So we got to be careful how much he gets in those alt orbs. And yeah, they also deny that from Shazam, who was two away of his, which would have been really good here going into the next round, should MIBR lose this eco. It's on its way there. Shazam the first to fall, as we were just talking about him, towards the top of the pipes. Yeah. Three players of Leviathan towards the back. Util from the Killjoy. Don't even let them cross over the 410 until these shots finally come back to the chairs, but this should soon be done. Artisan only one shot to the chest is going to take him down here with any type of util yeah. and weapons that Mazino and Aspas has, but at least the damage has been there. The two that had guns last round still have guns this round, so it's the money is kind of hurting a little bit, but Lev should be okay to still get a few buys in there. And we have Thrash up for the side of MIBR. Some of those ultimate options are finally coming up so they can push through. I was going to say, I mean, you said last round they're avoiding Ospos, and here it really didn't even matter. Com was hitting the shots, the rest of the team as A was getting taken with that low buy. So here we go. Ospos does have the money for the operator, comes out with a full armor buy. And it's going to be set up once again at B. We'll see how much MIBR's playstyle changes once they hear that ring out. But again, a little bit of strength from the harbor trying to get this all door about to calm as they're pushed off. So nice job by MIBR to thwart this early option. Nasbos loves that spot with the operator oh, yeah. on top of yellow. So MIBR want to pivot really quickly with the thrash towards B. Screen is not being cleared though as Ain't though understands the position of tanks on the top. From 410, drops him down, weakens up towards the A side, and it okay, allows okay. the trade to happen, but there's that double swing Spike from the high low out a. from Leviathan. Back on a three versus three. Hunter's Fury available for Shazam. And we're still waiting for Aspas to rotate Jesus over here, and finally makes it out towards Boiler. King wins that fight, though, on the right side of 410, and also on the left side. And that's why also some players are calling yeah. that spot a 410 King. Mazine stuck alone in. 
Can he clutch for the sixth time? Yeah. On a one we, versus three? If we look at that situation and the paint opens it up as these last few shots to come oh, through. Oh, wait a minute. Two. I take it back. Up against the op. Spike is down, out of reach, being watched by Aspas left. with the operator. And one shot miss from the superstar could be an opportunity for Mazin to clutch this. Leans in towards that left. There's an oh, oh, arm shot that And he manages in. to escape. Looking back up, trying to find that spike. There's that second peak, but he will not miss a second time. Incredible stuff from Aspas to come up in the clutch. Doesn't even look phased at the tense situation that he just went through. Pulls in another round for the Vietan. Breaking down that round a little bit from MIBR's side. Paint with such a nice opening kill. Like you said, knowing that angle was going to be there. And then I think it, the strats are going to high risk for the reward they're getting. That was very high risk peak to throw your body on Jenny just for someone to peek through the wall instead of finding what util can be used, what patience are kind of stopping the moment could give you. So maybe a little bit of that pullback and reset in these moments where they have numbers up. Oh. Good favor, MIBR. Almost tagged, but they don't know it's Osboss. But because the- And someone else. The Osboss missed that arm shot, so it allows for them to scale up even more with that. And that forces a hundred security to come out early from Calm 2. Will not hit anything. And this is an opportunity now for MIBR to group up here and fight this spot. That's gonna hurt for a bit though. Yeah. As he's gonna be weakened up as he meets up with everybody towards B. Nobody even giving a peek towards the right side where Leonzi has a marshal. Just protecting the operator, really. <laughs> Putting everyone they can close enough for a round lev on Osbos. They're looking to clear a zone, that peak. Solid yellow dash on the top, another op shot miss, so the wingman still stays up. But it's a fake here, wingman, to force the plant now for Artazine. He'll get it at least. Players are falling down, but they'll get the plant for MIBR in his thrifty round. And a reckoning in actually involved. Liazi not being heard. As Tex was ready for it the whole time. Cole kind of missed, though. It's out in the open. But it's enough. There's only one HP left for Mazine, yeah. who does get two kills out of it. Oh my gosh, Mazine. <laughs> That's not bad. Not bad. Just. If there's only one more person, so he's not LMS here, I think these go <laughs> so much different for MIBR. But that's the thing, Lev's not letting that happen, right? We're yeah. not seeing it because Lev is pressuring correctly. The util here with the Sova util and the Harbor Walls and the Viper kind of util coming through, we see how much it has caused MIBR to have to scatter, right? They're being seen through the smokes they want to find cover on. And yeah, just one, two, and almost a third if they could have gotten the height on that shot, but it's Osbos still with the updraft. And it's also nice, at least in that thrifty round that we just had by MBR, that, that lurk up that Liazi tried to do towards the ace side, something that he was very good to do on the attack side of MIBR on ascent, was actually denied here by Tex at screens. That's good information for them that they could take over and carry over in these future rounds when they'll realize that they're always going to have to keep a player back here for Levia time no matter what. They expect these type of late lurks happening out of Liazi and this timeout yeah. from, from Braun potentially allows for them to change that tempo of how they want to default around this map of Icebox. It's a great call. I'm trying to almost pick apart Leviathan before you're hitting the site. Yeah. Seems like the answer because that combo of utility is too much. Right, they haven't really been able to see that combo with with one down. Five v four was still pretty difficult on A for them to take. So getting towards B, it seems like they are gaining a bit more ground, but only once the round has passed, maybe thirty seconds. Right, they're kind of relying on the Vietan to over rotate and move out of their original positions. You can't rely on things. You have to make those things happen and know you're going to get an advantage out of them. So we got to see more from MIBR here. See if they can get one of these alts down and pressure Lev. Make Lev play proactive. Or I'm sorry, reactive instead of their proactive play, rather. And it makes sense because Leviathan's been really good at cycling also the utility around the Viper and the Harbor. So if you're yeah. going to wait out one thing to cool it's down tough. here for Leviathan, at least on the Viper, there's always going to be something else for Drifting. So they have to be ready for that. Not sure here if they heard the rappel across. Yes, the wall bang does come through. But it does not connect onto Aspas, who has a good position now, just at the bottom, and lands that onto Artisine. Blade Storm forward, up drop, roll away, right in the face of Paint, and finally Shazam takes him down. Oh, the little wiggle giving him the advantage off the aim. Aspas finds two to start off, and already MIBR 
have to find a way to work with three. We said this would be the way that MIBR finds the round. Whittle away at the Lev players, but still very proactive pushing forward. Osbos gains the first two kills, and they may even try to get us off at the end of this round, to be honest. Towards B, though, Liazzi with those roams you were just talking about. Oh, and who better than Tex once again to Whoa. understand these words and these pushes? There was no alarm bot there, no nothing, so an opportunity there for Liazzi to get some sort of advantage and potentially go for the dual win, but sometimes it's just going to be on the other end. It's just Tex being on point here of how he's been playing throughout this series so far. Oh my gosh. Able to stop him finally. And you talked about it when he actually has another player with him and he doesn't have to clutch. He gets these moments. That's the four. It just took another, the one more. Just a little bit more of that advantage to create the opportunity for the side of MIBR. They got a lot of work to do here and these rounds are taking the entire team. Like Leviathan is putting the pain on. It's going to hurt the economy. So it's an uphill battle oh here for MIBR, even more so. We got starts like this from Aspas, knowing stage, he's got to put up numbers. But Mazine is still there. The safety net over and over here for MIBR. How do they start this next round, though? They have to keep the momentum. Aspas just seems to be too on fire, and he's already crept up to be in the face that belong. Yeah, and it's Mazine alone. And the sprays comes first. This is a perfect beat right there for Aspas to much. get that corner and to take him down. And that might force here at MIBR to move a little bit more quickly towards this A site. Double wall. The timing of the high tide. Wingman comes across. And there is that swing. The dashboard creating that space. But Tex once again is there. Nano swarm onto Shazam as they trade each other's on the kill. Remaining. Spike down. But the anchor is just too good for Leviathan towards the A site. There is that last frag coming out from one end to the other. That's Aspas for the opener and the closer. Just these shots here, those last two, they kind of paint a picture of how, uh, you know, the members of Leviathan shot, uh, Leviathan shot, moved, shot. A little more patience, feeling like they can take more time in the situation where MIBR is, I feel like, you know, chasing the frags. So like, oh, we got to get another one, then turn and get the next one, which is you're kind of committing to that spray right away and left taking these firefights one on one quite easily now. To restep. A shot, restep, and just takes out their opponent every time. Here. Tough for MIBR to win these fights. Now down on the buy. Five Get alts ready, way. though. Exactly. They're forcing around this with the Yelts. Blade Storm for paint. Two vandals. And there's Ospas at 10 HP. Blade Storm cannot catch him down, though, as he takes control of jail. Trying to find a surprise kill because he's solo. Just maybe a one and done. There's that first. King oh there for the my. support for the top of pipes. And it is not working to punish Ospas at all. Shazam and Mazine left. Shazam trying to stay alive. Winning that duel is going to be Mazino. And now Classic to Classic. It's Mazine that wins it. But Leviathan shuts down the opportunity of buying around. The ults here that MIBR hand and will force them to be on another ego. I feel like Aspas has nothing to worry about in that nope. situation, right? He, he's like, who's going to peek next? What doesn't look like a, a wall or a corner? Oh, that's a person. Because Util is flying over his shoulder. He's covered on the left, covered on the right. Has somebody back above behind him. He, how can you not play with confidence in that situation when you're backed up that well? And at 13 and 1. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my gosh. That's absurd. Six and two now. As the Vietan really striking here on Icebox. Flight. So want to tempo this for my BR. Look at they cover. They're, where did Aspas push again this time, right? They're trying to get quick to these identification pos or identify positions where they can drone, they can get a dart out and take a bit of space. And even if they wanted to tempo and try to fight back against Aspas, look at how much Aspas has in terms of HP versus Artisan after. Oh, now protection. forcing the Ender Guardian given to paint mini Bokdan's Law. As he's trying to push forward and can't find anything behind that Viper down. smoke. And that's going to slow down once again. This attempt of bringing up that tempo for MIBR to try to capitalize on maybe oppositioning from Leviathan, but the utility is too good. It is. That, just that take on yellow. You have the alarm bot and the molly to stop anybody pushing, and then you have King put up his denial plant orb, and you I can't see Aspas get out. They have an answer for everything right now. And now, looking for something, MIBR pulls all five members back to A. Really chipped at their HP now as they try to take the site. Might have to use these alts if they... Potential! Oh, maybe not anymore. Dear. 
There was an opportunity here to maybe secure the rounds with the amount of ults that you have. You already see the Aussie trying to run back and he had the lockdown in his hands too, so it might be the call. Falling back now as the toxic screen comes up, there is that hit. So we are going to try to delay. Lockdown now in. And that will force the hand of Leviathan to try to fight back here on the top Choke of 410. Of Shock darts are now coming through. High tide coming across as well. Repel. That's Goom moving in very silently as Mazino gets the kill. That will be the big falling down. And also, no way, the lockdown has been denied. There comes the Hunter's Fury. But we're fully sticking here. Calm's going to be oh. looking at the first one did not get the hit. <laughs> oh, Cop knows, he knows the Hunter's Fury's hits. Also, seeing how Mazine's wall went, or pit went out there, usually we see something, it looks like a dizzy. On the right side of the A site, it kind of forms around Jenny, and then it gives you a little bit of a hide spot underneath the bottom of belt, which did not happen. And they were able to instantly spray down Mazine. So you didn't have that. They're pressured again into these situations to use an alt, but get in the position. Leviathan is just, they have a fuse lit every round. And MIBR are worried about it. Yeah. We saw the first Pulse 2 just missing on the right side of Generator, right. which is why here, Calm could have fully stuck it. It was at 150. Now MIBR, around where they potentially could have had it with these ults. We'll have to try to go with another attempt. First time here, you see the op coming out from Paint on the attack side. Trying to leverage that towards the B main as they were expecting potentially Ospos to play towards Yellow once again. Late Owl Drone to try to clear it out. Now they have that space gain. Lev has not been giving anything to Mazine or Liazzi in these roams. It always comes down to the peak on the first, and again, Tate goes down. Trying to make something happen with that operator. Protocols are just too good here for Leviathan as well. The high low that they have is way too high here for players to really react on anything when there's jiggle peaks and shoulder peaks allowing the one on the top of B having you should of the B side to get that pick. I love this pit actually from left just backed into the corner. Somebody's always creeping and lurking there. The site never feels free unless you take him out. King starts off on the scene. Yeah, and apologies, looks like it was the lockdown on the defense the last yeah, round. Yeah. So this one was saved for Liazi to use here on the attempt to take this A site for the plant. Wingman gets denied here on the top of the A tower because of King's position. And the Reckoning is going to get too much information here. Artisan stuck. Yes, At least smothered. denies here the opportunity of Leviathan to get a flawless. But Leviathan looks to be running away here with the defensive half. Absolutely. They're too confident in their play. The way they're protecting each other, the death ball that they're moving into, they haven't seen it lose in how many rounds. So they're confident to continue run through, uh, running through, right? Whether they're starting two or three at screens and then having just Aspas up on the catwalk, on the overhang. Ooh. Ooh. You see a slight movement there as he yeah. shot, so he went right into the wall. Fortunately, no opportunities for Paint to get left. one pick. Unfortunate. Just it, it, literally pixels right now could change the situation and those shots. And the timing and the movement is going in favor of Leviathan. Eight to two now. As we're feeling comfortable, honestly, in the start of the stage, seeing what's happening to teams, even though it's a change a bit there in the coaching staff to Idopata, expect the Vietan to be able to still pull through those wins with the composition that they have, the strength of the players, and what we just saw them do at Shanghai on the international stage. <laughs> Got a future champ right there. Absolutely. Good man there, young. Playing on high sense. Tiny little computer. To make a roster of my kid in 18 go. years. There you go. There you go. Be tier one in no time. <laughs> All right. We get back into this. Khan's got the ultimate. Thrash for art scene. They've been throwing that pretty early before they even get closer to 410. More sight, uh, so behind pipes when they throw it. So the site clear isn't kind of as worrisome for Leviathan on that. We'll see if they change up how Thrash is used here and maybe pulled back for a second run. But you gotta, you gotta note, Aspa still 14 and one. Hard for MIBR to do anything with that man on the map. And that's the thing. It's hard also for, for Paint to get anything done on two. There's not, well, hold on, let's hold that thought. Mazine is able to sneak through and get that right, kill right. So that's a great first start. And he gets information on two. Now here's that thrash trying to clear up towards A. There was a recon art that was being used at the same time. 
And that's confirmed now that the A site's open. An opportunity for MIBR to move in and go for a plan. But they're not. They're waiting a lot. Leaving it up to Wingman. The wall still denies them coverage. So you can know what's on the other side. And ooh, lo and behold, they're good enough to get that one. So now it's post plan time. They even missed the nano swarm to try to cover good. up towards that spike. So that might have to force MIBR to stay within and fight towards 410, fight on the top of the tower. Thankfully though, they had the player advantage. Kane trying to squeeze in here oh. on the Raptors and he will spot Shazam. The second twin to come out, Two. connects. That's paint to fall as well. Those players that have to play four positions, well, all denied because the Nano Swarm cannot delay enough. Up to Tex going to stick onto the defuse. We may trying to push forward. Artuzin landing two oh. with the Guardian. Oh. Trying to get that one and he will be able to get it. Only one left to go, and that spike is still taken away. King is too far out. The round will still one come in for MIBR. Jeez. It's almost like a repeat of the piss around. Yeah, King's Aspas not with four. Like Aspas. Yeah. King now with four. They're getting all the kills in the end to make Last the alt happen, but that stitch. was a good one from right MIBR. They, they stay true to using their util, and they, they kind of believe that it would work, it seemed. Nobody was hesitant there, down. even losing shots. And King, King was able to create such an opportunity. He takes down two and still is able to watch for the lurk. So that means these three members of the Leviathan are pushing forward with ferocity. So big stop by MABR there to feel comfortable in the post plan. It has not seemed that way almost all map. A fourth round would be huge here from the attack side so they could set up a little bit of defense with breathing room. But Aspas with the up, one away from Bladestorm, ready to activate here on the final round. Or tax again for the first blood. Crazy stuff from his bushes down mid. He hadn't really seen that since exactly. the first few rounds. Exactly. And that's how it caught here in my VR off guard. They were still trying to default here and figure out a way to fight against off pass the wide swing. Looks like he potentially got the connection onto Shazam. He's down to 34 yeah. here. Ooh. The getting out of this B has been so tough for MIBR. They lose one or two members here. Finally, getting some power in numbers in and under the site. But this is tough. Almost the, the quietness of it has to be giving them the heebie-jeebies here. No one's peeking yet, but they do hear the off from Aspas. That push up from the Aussie could be everything here, but unfortunately just got spotted oh, by Medino. Oh, there's one. Spike there's that five long range shoot towards you. Oh. Now we have to stick off the spike or at least get away as the spike gets planted. Standing ahead. You heard the Hunter's Fury coming out from Calm. There's only two players left to take down. It's Paint and Shazam. The subs now for MIBR. Target One fires. holding towards the yellow Shazam with a recon dart trying to clear it. It's a shock dart at least towards the default. Vulnerability is coming through and Aspas connects the shot onto Paint. Jeez. Shazam, there's just too many bodies to fight against. Leviathan comes in for the fuse and they'll take the half nine to three. They're Team so quick eight. at reacting. If, if, if they make it feel like the, the spike has longer to beep because they're already there, they're already fighting continuous Switching for sides. the entirety of that spike beep. And they just give MIBR the pressure there. Oh, it was close. But nonetheless, still a victory coming through from Leviathan so far. Yeah. Definitely a different night and day positioning on where they're at compared to the Ascent game, where they had to fight back to tie the game up 6-6. Six six. Absolutely. But now it's time to at least toss it back to the desk so they can break down the first half. Thank you so much for that, fellas. And, well, you know, yes, a, a completely different game than what we saw in Map 1. Map 1 can be defined, I think, by surprise, we're doing cool things. Map 2 is, hey, we're Leviathan. We know what we're doing. We're going to walk away with this one cleanly. And there's even rounds where Aspas has money to op, and he just, I guess, the Texas Zero Aura or something in the server, because he just decides <laughs> not to op some of these rounds. He just starts, like, owning them with his rifle. And I think there's a lot of rounds from... Uh, from MIBR that I, they kind of just misused their ults. There was so many opportunities for them to convert a round with proper ult usage, and they were just totally missing on that. Yeah, absolutely. A lot of rounds from them later on were really disconnected. There was one where at the very end, Payton uh, Shaz, excuse, excuse me, were fighting forward. The rest of the guys were way too far back. And Ospos has just taken full advantage of that. I mean, look at the difference. That's map one. The entirety of map one. The first half of map two. Yeah, I mean, that's he's stepped up massively. It, it's the Ospos effect that has, you know, honestly been kind of make or break for this team. But another player who's also been playing really well and just saw as we were coming into this is King, really putting up a ton of numbers for this squad. So it does feel like, you know, the, the, the heavy hitters of the squad now, they're starting to heat up. This is going to get a little scarier for MIBR. Is there a chance, Mel, that they can climbed their way back into this 
It's going to be really tough. I think Lev's attack is going to be, I think it's going to be great from them. And frankly, just based on how they're playing their defense, Osmos is just going to go in, get two, get three. King's going to clean up. Everyone else is going to clean up. It should be a pretty dominant win from here. Yeah, it feels like when it gets down to playing the fundamental, you know, Valorant, what we know and what we expect, it's like you got to go for Leviathan in that instance, right? They have more experience as a unit. But on top of that, Wyatt, it looks like this could very well be current. Yeah, MIBR. definitely. MIBR, it felt like they had a lot more fire in that first game. And now it's kind of been extinguished. Well, let's see how this all closes out. Send it back over to Vansili and Rivington. And hopefully now in the second half for MIBR, they could find that spark again to bring that drive for MIBR to potentially push this onto bind if needed here. Yeah. They're able to capitalize this second map against Leviathan on Icebox. But as Steve mentioned here, Riv, the, I mean, King's popping off. Yeah, Ospos that's... Is feeling it. That's the next one, the Thanks quiet, yeah. quiet shining in the crown on this one. King is absolutely topping the score charts right now. And he's done it before in the last stage. Just kind of starts popping off and you're like, oh yeah, wait. There was somebody else bragging with Ospos this game, making it so tough for MIBR to even make moves. This lead is encroached into A and Ospos is already at work. Well, that's how you can entry. <laughs> oh my gosh. Even before the high tide came through and even before the bubble came across. Yeah, he's got one inch feet, but he's done his job. Allows Calm now to plant the spike and for all of Leviathan right to play within. Ospas will once again be first contact on the top of Jenny. Artazine potentially the first contact on the other end. Wingman to come out first. Shots Enemy missing, remaining. but the other players in their positions are just too good for Calm and King to allow Leviathan to get the pistol on a flawless. And the first pistol actually that Leviathan has had this series. <laughs> Surprisingly enough. Yeah, very true. Because MIBR still has the thrifties under their belt, but I think the momentum for Lev here is too much. Anaspas being able to open the sights, kind of remembering way, the way he used to play. And I think he recognized that MIBR is playing loose and a little free too on this one. So he went into the loose free mode. He is spinning around on some of these rounds and really not even getting in on that pistol. Not too much util. Yeah. So you can see Lev's ready, confident here to push through and get this one closed out. It's going to be a little hang back from Tex here to make sure there's no lurk. It's a pretty good commit towards A and just a tiny bit of chip damage to RNC in there. <laughs> My word. Yep. You want orb? It's going to cost you. Yeah. And that's what we've been seeing Lev do even, even from last map to this map is start with those little things, whether it was the Odin and dart towards tiles or here, just messing with the orb to give yourself that chip damage advantage. And even if they have the number of power, uh, power numbers rather for MIBR towards mm -hmm. this A site, they just don't have the HP. With the amount of walls that are coming through from Leviathan, you kind of have them kind of guessing where the hit may be coming from because now we stop the temple for Lev. Back towards A main, trying to take control of middle. There's still a turret, uh, still a turret rather. Watching over if Mazine decides to overcommit to walk down towards mid. I wonder if they wall towards A, a go B. Yeah, looks like, like a high tide recon out here. Yeah, definitely. Slow movement, good call by MIBR here. Get themselves inserted on the right site. Distraction by Mazino is out. And oh they're man, doing they're going to run into a wall. Oh, they're backing up. Left. They wait for the site clear. The patience of Lev here. It so could have been a there. ruse, but right now they're making it to play. Because the turret's still there. That's yep. not a nobody too. The orb now popped up. That allows all of Leviathan to have a five player hit inside A. And that is beautiful calls coming out from King. That's wild. Ten Avoiding left. all the danger on this. Spike planted. And they've done already almost a, a kill in art scene and damage right now to MIBR without seeing anybody. Ooh. Well, they'll see somebody now. There it is. <laughs> Ospas towards the spawn. Guardian kill onto Shazam. And he's just going to go to town here. That one HP player about to move up. Liadzi all the way towards the spawn. Dash now. Disactivate it. Oh yeah, they'll just wait it out for him be It may just look like they, especially that turret back towards the spawn, time to die to spike. But it's like, yeah, we'll hang out. We don't want to give you any more alt orbs because you are already <laughs> farming right now. Yeah. Look at that 19 and two on the Jenny. Oswald's finally getting out of the last seconds of the fuse on the spike. And at Leviathan, bring it to 11. Confidence here from Lev is MIBR keep themselves safe just for the deaths on that one but it won't be safe as they get into next round working the map understanding what's happening opening kills it's kind of like leviathan's checking off everything right here to just make this an, an easy ice box for themselves yeah <laughs> at least their classics work against each other full screen yeah, yeah. 
all right. This is a turning point for MIBR, but I feel like even after this, there has to be multiple turning points. They only have Agreed. two rounds to work with if Lev can pull them in their favor. They're definitely going to have to dig deep. Now you see the denial of the Nanoswarm on top of boilers, so... At least for Olivia time, they don't really know what the KG utility is yet. Alan Drone coming out from calm, the bonus round from Leviathan. Grouped up towards the A site. Standard just like the piss around, high tight to come up. Nardazine is, is tucked in. He's trying to get one and he'll get it. With support now. Oh, King almost got that second one. But it's a one for one. Paint has fallen. Advantage still for MIBR and Leviathan can now slow the tempo. Wall comes up. Tex is trying to make a play. But none of them will make a play for Leviathan as Artazin is able to get four in a round to give him a BR the fourth round of this map. Get Thrash up a little bit quicker, and I think that's MIBR has to keep closing in. Uh, just feel like your opponents are using a bonus buy each time. Like, play with that confidence, maybe. You still gotta be careful, but still peek, still swing with each other. We see how they're working here. Artazin calling the shots, playing from the gecko, trying to get the flashes over everybody's shoulder, and how they're trying to assist and kind of play this situation we see that paints on that right side of the site our team if you know fraud said he has very good english in the shot calling so that's not a problem shazam's just left so a lot of good communication between those three to keep this a site locked down makes if sense they need to those three of them group together to work towards the a site and the other two communicating their own language here towards yeah. that b site so it works out you're trying to maximize whatever you could here with the in the situation that's provided for you that's off here, the Down. coaching of Fron that's trying to make the best of it. Tex now lurking up towards the tube. One Timing. for one towards the front. Mazine jump spot. There's a oh. wide swing for Mazine to get the pick. Duel now in favor of MIBR, but the spike's been planted towards the east site. The delay has come through, and the Allen Jones starts things off. The spot Mazino forcing him to fall back. King, though, still there with Calm. Recon Dark to answer back, but Payne finally gets the entry in. Osbots is still holding towards the dice. Trying to land that oh third one, Shane. but it's a one for one. Cobb is now alone. There's that first and second onto Paint. Clock is still ticking on that spike, and he's got the Hunter's Fury. He's just going to yeah. run back and play to his favor. Bazine now tapping no on the way. spike. There's that Hunter's Fury, and there's that kill from Calm. Wow. I see, like, Osbots just hiding in that corner round after round. <laughs> Nobody is clearing the man. They come up big, nicely done again in MIBR is having so much trouble getting themselves back into the A site with numbers. They're losing so many on each take. This clutch coming in finally from Com at the end. Ooh, super clean. And that was just after those two members had taken out Aspas in the back. So there's like one person of Lev for MIBR to work through right now is multiple. It's tough. It's not just that first shot and they can move on, which is really stunting the pace of MIBR's retakes. Again, everything they can to just deny Lev a little bit of an advantage. But it seems like it happens anyways as they take the space. Buying all the way down to zero, trying to stay alive. Artazine only with a Sheriff, and they're trying to bring the aggression to their favor, but Artazine is down to 30. Mazine still connects down towards middle, and that's also the KG still leading down as Tech falls. King's rotation towards B can bear any fruit here. They move slow and they're not gonna have too much mid coverage. Okay, orb goes up. So comms towards King there. You can see how they're working the communication. And they're gonna choose the right site. But how does Liazzi play it? Been smart towards each lurk situation, but now he's gotta defend alone. Can he survive this? He's just watching the angle out in the open. Alan Drone's gonna clear him though. So this is not gonna be good. Oh, somehow King One. There's a little communication coming through, so he gets the kill there onto King with the wall bang. Big mistake coming out from Leviathan, allowing MIBR to potentially close this round and stay alive in this game. Commitment from Leviathan towards this B side, high tide, potentially forcing oh the fight back towards the spawn. Calm trying to find the timing as the wall comes down, and he will finally be able to take down the Ozzy as Mazina will get the plant on the top of B Heaven. Really nice, just creating little quadrants to fight in through the smokes as they come back in. Calm's at the bottom though, trades out Osbos. Now Wingman falls, and Calm once again is solo. Thrash oh, now being pushed forward, trying to land that shot, but it's the bunny hop of that fish. That's too good. 
Shazam lands the kill, goes for the defuse, and he will get the Hunter's Fury in the next round as MIBR is able to play the retake. Oh, the pressure is on, and it pushes MIBR that much more. They come away with the round. Liazzi, incredible hold on B there to disrupt, holding such uh, an open position for so long with a drone coming at you. You're kind of like, I'm either dead to rights and someone's coming with me or nothing's going to happen. And he gets out with almost everything there. His kill and his life eventually to find the rest of the round going in MIBR's favor. And that was the defuse. Most of these have been kill rounds because they've been so crazy, as you see. So that Hunter's Fury is ready, as you said. Aspas now up on the Blade Storm. Don't think we'll see that this round with the low buy, but they might. Yes, they will. Here. <laughs> instant. They're going to try to make something of it right away. So get him under. But there's still Yazi there, just holding under the boxes. They don't know. Great job by Mazin here to create that diversion to allow Yazi to get the three kills. Oh my gosh. And a second one to fall towards the snow pile, and he will also fall with the snow pile. Crowd wants <laughs> oh. it, but Paint wants that kill. Of course, it's the new guy. <laughs> <laughs> Great round by MABR. Cleaning things up. Also, I was Paint. He's one away from his ultimate now, as we saw the Blade Storm just get absolutely thwarted there. Yeah. So, slight momentum. A lot to do here. Still, no, they, they have a lot of work to do as they're calm, cool, and collected. Nice distraction here on the, the strategy. That's even the Aussie three. That was something here, if I'm not mistaken, that King did with Aspas on the defensive round for yeah. that long B. That also denied Mazin on that lurk towards B main at the beginning. So you're starting to see here in my BR. Continue with good communication. Those that are able to anchor towards that B site, very well done by both Mazin and Liazzi, and that also forces out the timeout, the first one being called by Leviathan on their map pick. That's right, and we are looking at six chances. That's weird, it's free him. Uh, six chances here, 12 for Leviathan, and this is when Ido Pata calls the timeout. The timeouts he's been calling have actually seen success. The ones they called back to bring Ascent back in their favor was actually the Sheriff round. We saw Tex yeah, get the three for round, Market. Yeah. It was a read on the play. Like, your players are going to play great, but the read on the play after that timeout really helping to come from Itopata. So, we'll see if it happens again here for Leviathan, the way they've been attacking this time to get through MIBR's defense. Buys on both sides, a little bit of low armor on that left, but Reckoning is going to be strong here for Leviathan on their side take. You know this is going to be a round that's committed now for Leviathan. They have a buy around this and they're looking to get the early recon towards this B side just to snuff out any type of defender players playing mm -hmm. towards B and it seems to be an opportunity here to get the ping against Leonzi. Standing ahead. It's a little lot of noise being made. That's about it. Spamming through the smoke in mid. Darts out to the left side. I don't think with too much being seen. And he pushed out, so he's calling me. I don't need any rotates, nobody to help me out. Let's yeah. get ready to fight towards the main, and Pink will get the first blood there. He wants Hunter's it again? Out on the defense, it does get that first ping. Shazam trying to take down Tex, but Tex survives at 11. Artazine still gets the pick, though, onto Aspas as he falls towards the belt. Okay. The defense is looking pretty good for MIBR this round. Artazine with the confidence trying to push forward. Yeah, they didn't see him. Trying to grab his orb, and now the wingman will finally spot calm. Top of the head, now paint on the top as well to support. Three in the round for him. Close to a flawless as MIBR. As Tex will deny that opportunity, but MIBR will still get the round. Who can use the 60 seconds better? Looks like MIBR did that time. Really great control for each other there. On pipes, high, low, playing the elevation at A. And that I think that's one of the first times Lev has really seen that because they've been uh, going back to just hitting it with the Viper's Bite, uh, Viper Bite and throwing out the Shock Dart. So yeah, the first time MIBR does get a chance to fight, Paint just wipes everyone out with a little bit of help there. Okay, okay, he's starting to feel it. <laughs> And I see them all grouped up for Leviathan on a lower buy. Trust trying to get the orb towards middle, but right after King will meet up with the rest of his team. Pushing together. Trying to fight against the A-side hold, who actually has three players there for MIBR. Aljo's gonna push one away. High tide yeah. comes out on the attack. Leviathan's trying to come in for the plan. Leonti switch sites now. He's at A. In the back of Dice is where he is positioned. He'll get the backstab onto Akbos. Second one, though, cannot get the kill. Oh, that's a swing. Kom also gets that pick. Wait, Two flash. left alive for There's MIBR. And will it be a thrifty once again from Liviaton for them to win not only the round, but the series?
Pit now comes up. And then it'll slow down the tempo here from both of the teams, but an opportunity and the advantage for Leviathan to get the plan. I suggest you move! Oh, yeah, Reckoning comes out. They're gonna be able to identify at least some positions here with those circles. Slow moving paint, trying to get through, but they're gonna choose to work together on this one. Even with the high tide in front of the pit, not allowing for the players to just walk through an early Hunter's Fury as well. Just to try to create a diversion, it'll connect onto one. It's up to paint alone, drop by King. Leviathan will then close the series two to zero against MIBR. Took a little bit to shake off the rust there for the Ospos and the squad of Leviathan, but they finally do. Tex on the first map of Ascend, absolutely pulling through some pivotal rounds there. And on the second map, they're just seeing King and Ospos go off. Seems like what we would expect from Leviathan. On that side of MMBR, though, coming out strong with the Ascent comp, it, it, there's enough in that firepower to throw a team for the loop. Yeah. But we do see that the strats aren't there. They don't have too many protocols. And we're going to be looking for that main squad. Yeah, especially when it comes down to Leviathan's map pick here. Something that they're comfortable to play with a double controller. But again, you got some good minds that can yeah. maybe try yeah. to ante against what they do. But it wasn't good enough this time around for MIBR. But at least now on Ascent, you could see here that they're not afraid to think outside of the box and fight with a different composition. And get still good value out of it. And my positive aspect out of this one, it shows to me that Shazam still has it. He's put some great numbers there on the first map, second map. Payne has done a great job as well as this ISO pulling out for the first time on Ascent. And he deserves an opportunity to continue a career, at least in Challengers or now at the BCTs, because for me, absolutely, like he's proven a point here with the ISO. They have very big shoes to fill yeah. for anyone if you're coming in on the main stage. So you have a very big credit to Paint coming in, Shazaz stepping in as well, and we'll see how long they do have a, a time with the squad as we move forward throughout the weeks and get information on that. But the Vietan. Ospos turned up on Icebox along with King. They had the rotations. They were able to also find out what Liazzi's idea was once that happened. And Ido Pata coming in, the, the timeouts matter. They definitely changed the play style. They had different looks coming out of the timeout, so it's good to have that in your strap up. Yeah, and the, the analyst that did mention that this was a must win here for an IBR. Right, it was. In for a chance right now. I mean, he might still have a chance here, but it's tough. It comes, makes me think, what would happen here for MIBR if they actually did have their full roster, a practice roster, and what impact they could bring here towards the VZTs? I think it looks pretty promising for that team. It does. They still they have the clutch potential. They kind of have that round potential. The aggression and the looseness that they played with, it, it's comfort for them. So imagine yeah. that being the full team. But it's not an imagine. It's not an if kind of day. <laughs> it's a what happened, and it was the Vietnam taking the double. Exactly. So that's why we're going to send it down to the to the floor so as Smix is ready for the Verizon post-match interview. Thank you very much, Van Silly, standing here with Calm as we see Leviathan take down MIBR 2 to 0. It all started on Ascent, and I have to ask, you know, earlier, Coach Itopata also talked about how that was a weird comp to go up against, seeing that ISO for the first time here at VCT Americas this year. What was it like for you to go up against? Um, I think at the start, we definitely were like getting like first match back jitters and stuff. And then after that, we just had to, you know, do how we've been scrimming. And yeah, I think after that, like we kind of adapted to the comp and then we felt better. Sounds good. And I want to dial it back to just a couple of weeks ago. I know that Shanghai was definitely not the way I'm sure you and your teammates would have wished things had panned out. How do you go from, you know, stomaching a tough loss like that, resetting and then preparing and practicing for stage two? Um, it just takes like a whole mental reset. I mean, I, we made some changes and, you know, we've been feeling like top form and obviously I don't think we showed like our absolute best today, but I'm really excited for the future and I feel like we're building something for a championship roster. Obviously a big change that also came in was the departure of Coach Gokhead and now it's Coach Itopata. How different is the structure that he brings and what are the biggest changes that you're feeling as a player on the team? Mm. I think Ito brings like a whole, like a kind of like different perspective for us. Um, Goket helped us a lot at the start, but I think after that, Ito's kind of helping us build like towards our confidence and being more loose and stuff like that. So honestly, I'm super appreciative. I feel I'm starting to get a little bit more comfortable. I had a good clutch today, so happy about that. 
Absolutely. The fans love to see it as well. For now, thank you very much, Com, for sharing your thoughts. We are going to take a quick breather, but when we come back, it'll be a North American show match that everyone wants to see. Energy versus Sentinel. Stay tuned. <laughs> Red Bull gives you wins. 